In this video, I'm going to explain the new Facebook campaign objectives. So, you know, recently Facebook changed their campaign objective, right? So, instead of the, you know, normal 11 campaign objectives we are going to see, what you're not going to see is kind of six, you know, broad campaign objectives, right? Like, remember before, that campaign objective was kind of divided into, you know, three broad categories, right? Let me show it to you. It was formerly like this. That is the awareness stage, the consideration stage, and then the conversion stage. That was the old campaign objective, right? But now Facebook changed everything, right? And then kind of grouped it into six different campaign objectives, right? And now I've been receiving a lot of, you know, DMs from people telling me that they're kind of confused. They don't know which campaign objectives they should be using to run their ads to get the maximum results, you know, from their Facebook and Instagram ads. And that is why I'm actually creating this video today to show you, you know, the right campaign objective to use for your ad. Now we're going to start with an example ad, right? I'm going to create an example ad so that I can show you what I actually mean. Now, if you want to create an ad, right, they're going to ask you to choose, you know, from these six campaign objectives. You know, before it was, it was, look at the way it was before. This is how it was before. Like grouped into three, you know, stages, then the awareness stage, the consideration stage, and then the conversion stage, right? This is how it was before. But now Facebook have changed everything and then grouped it into just six campaign objectives. Do you understand? So that is why I've been receiving a lot of DMs from you guys, you know, asking me the right campaign objectives to use because you're kind of confused, right? And that, that is exactly why I'm creating this video to show you when to use each of these campaign objectives, right? Facebook campaign objectives are one of the most important settings you need to get right if you want to generate the best possible results from your Facebook ads. Now, this is because your campaign objectives actually tells Facebook what you want people to do. It tells Facebook exactly what you want people to do, right? And that's why in this video, I'm going to explain each of these campaign objectives to you right and then i'm going to show you which one you should use so you can get the best possible results from your facebook ads if you this here welcome to another video if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to get more customers make more sales and grow your business using social media platforms and other sales and marketing strategies then make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable your notifications so you don't miss out on any video i post on this channel now here are six different campaign objectives you can use if you want to run your Facebook ads, I'm going to walk you through all of them and then explain the best campaign objective you should be using, right? Depending on your desire, on your goal for your ad, right? Now, the first one is awareness. So we're going to start with awareness. Now, when you click on awareness, let's select awareness first of all, you will see that Facebook could tell you, it will show your ads to people who are most likely to remember them. So basically, if you want to kind of create an awareness for your brand, you want to want people to know about your brand, right? That is when you actually use awareness campaign. But then it's not what I actually recommend. I don't recommend people using awareness campaign. Here is why. You know, when you use awareness campaign, you're basically telling Facebook, show your ads to people who are most likely to just remember them. It's not like you have an objective to sell right? You don't have any objective to sell to them. You don't have any objective to convert them into customers. You just want them to know about your brand. So basically, this awareness brand is mostly used by big brands, right? Big brands like Coca-Cola, right? Like all these big brands that you know that they already have deep pockets, right? They have a lot of money they want to spend on advertising. So basically, they just want people to know about their brand. For example, right? Here in Nigeria, when you think about instant noodles, what comes to your mind? Indomie comes to your mind, right? So this kind of brand can just decide to run ads just to create awareness for their products, right? Just to make people to know about their product, even without, you know, expecting any sales. Do you understand? Now, another example is this. If you think about milk, like if you think about milk in Nigeria, what brand comes to your mind? Pick milk comes to your mind, right? Pick milk actually comes to your mind. If you think about soft drink, what comes to your mind? Coca-Cola comes to your mind right that's because these people have actually you know created a lot of brand awareness so people now basically know them like they are the dominant market they are the dominant brand when it comes to these different products so that is exactly what awareness actually helps you to achieve so it's not for sales so if you want to sell like for small business owners i highly recommend you don't even use awareness objective right because you want to make sales you want people to buy from you because you don't have a lot of money for advertising, right? You don't have a lot of advertising budget, like a huge amount of money for advertising. I don't actually recommend you use awareness ad, right? Unless you just want to create awareness for your brand, 
right? So, but if you have intention of, you know, making sales and all that, don't use awareness ads, right? Now, let's, let's not look at what Facebook is saying. Say this is good for reach, just to reach the maximum number of people who may be interested in your brand, right? And then brand awareness with people who are more likely to remember your brand, right? And then video views with people who are more likely to watch your video. And then store location awareness just to create an awareness, right? So it will help you to reach people using the physical location for your business, you know, organizations or sets of shops. Do you understand? So I don't actually recommend you use awareness campaign objective, right? Now the next one is traffic. Now, when it comes to traffic, they're basically trying to send people to a destination, right? Such as your website or app or even your Facebook events, right? So that is what traffic is all about. Just trying to send people to a destination. Now, traffic objective is actually good for link clicks, right? To get people to click on a link to your website or to your app or to your Facebook events, right? And then it's also good for landing page views to get people to view your content on your landing page. So let's say, for example, you have a blog, right? You have a blog post and you want more people to read your blog. You can decide to run a traffic ad and send people to your blog so people can actually read your blog post, right? So you want to kind of send traffic to your blog posts, your websites, right? That's when you can actually use traffic objectives, right? And also, if you want to send people to your WhatsApp and to your messenger to start a conversation with, so you want to send people, you know, to your messenger or WhatsApp to start a conversation with you, you can actually use traffic objectives. Now, the next one is also call. So you want to get a lot of people that might be interested in your business to call you. That's when you use traffic objectives. Now, from my experience and also from the experience of working with clients, a lot of people complain that traffic does not actually convert to sales. And personally, I've experienced that, right? And even working with clients, I've noticed that if they actually complain to me too, when they use traffic objective, it doesn't like lead to sales, right? Most of the time, they don't even get quality people. What I mean by quality leads is people that are really interested in whatever they are selling, right? So they don't really get that quality leads when they are using traffic. So it depends on your goal, like I said before. It depends on your goal. So if you want to like make sales, if your goal is actually to make sales, then I would not recommend you use traffic objective, right? I would recommend you use traffic objective. Unless you just want to send people to a blog post or you want to send people to your website, if you want them to read a blog post, then you can actually use traffic objective, right? Now let's move on to the next one, which is what? Engagement. So basically for engagement objective, you just want to get more messages, right? Once you get more messages, you want to, you know, get more video views, you want to get post engagements, your page likes. So people that have been asking me, how do I grow my Facebook page? How do I grow my Instagram page? You can actually use engagement ad, right? You want people to like your Facebook page. You want to get a lot of people to like your Facebook page, you know, to follow you on Instagram and all that. You can actually use engagement campaign objective. Or maybe you want, you know, some events, you know, responses. You can actually use engagement objective. Now, again, engagement ad is not for sales, right? If your intention is to make sales with your ad, don't use engagement objectives. Because whenever you are running an engagement ad, you are basically telling Facebook, Facebook, show my ads to people who are more likely to engage with my ad. So it's not necessarily it's for sales, right? It's not necessarily it's for sales. You don't have intention of making sales. So Facebook is going to show your ads to people who will just engage with your ads, you know, like your page, share your your ad you know comments on your ad you know share it and like it and all that so that is basically what facebook is going to help you do like show it to people because you know campaign objectives be very very important so you have to be very careful right whenever you are selecting your campaign objective because it will actually determine who facebook will show your ads to now we can use engagement campaign objective right to send people to your whatsapp like you want to encourage people to start a conversation with you right on your messenger on your instagram on your whatsapp but remember what I said before, it's not for sales. So if you have intention of making sales, don't use engagement campaign objective, right? You're coming to that. I'm going to show you the ones you can use that will help you to make sales, right? That will convert to sales for your business, right? Now, the next one is also video views. So you can actually use engagement campaign objective to reach people who are more likely to watch your videos, right? And also you can use it to, you know, get people to interact with your posts. And you can use it for conversions right so don't get it confused this conversion is not basically for sales so you want to get people to view your content are you seeing that you want to get people to view your content contact your business add to a wish list or take another action on your website or app it's not basically for sales so don't get it twisted right this conversion is not for sales 
that you not go and start running engagement, you know, ad, and then you not begin to complain that people are not buying when you are not using the right campaign objective. And the next one is lead campaign objective. So basically, with this particular campaign objective, your aim is to collect leads for your business or brand, right? So, but one good thing about this particular lead campaign objective is this: you can actually make sales when you use lead campaign objective. Yes, you can actually make sales. Like I've tried it before. I even really helped my clients to do that, and she made sales like in millions, right? So it can actually help you if you want to make sales. You can use leads and still make sales. But, you know, you have to do it right, right? You have to get other, you know, variables right. Your targeting, your ads copy, your sales copy and all that. But if you use lead campaign objective, you can actually lead to sales. Because basically what you're telling Facebook is this. You want Facebook to get leads for your business. So what are even leads? In case you don't know the meaning of leads. Leads are people that are interested in what you're selling. People that are interested in your products or services you're providing, right? People that are likely going to buy from you later. They're just interested, meaning that they will actually buy from you. If you convince them enough. So it actually leads to sales. Now, there are different ways you can use this lead campaign objective, right? The first one is instant form. So basically, when you select lead campaign objective, you can send people to a Facebook instant form, right? So that's if you select instant form. So you find people willing to share their contact information with you or, or even other details by filling in a form. And you, you have to create this particular instant form within the Facebook ads manager right at the ad level that's where you're going to create this form at the ad level right but at the asset level you're going to select instant form as your destination then at the ad level you will not be able to create it now if you don't know how to run a lead generation ad i've created a video that is dedicated to this particular campaign objective and i'm going to link that video in the description below or somewhere around this video right i showed you there how to create your instant form how to select the right one and every other single thing you need to know about lead generation ads i've actually created it so i'm going to link that video somewhere around this video or in the description below so make sure you watch that video right but first of all make sure you finish watching this video first before you go back to watch that one right now this one is now instant form so you're basically asking facebook to help you find people who are willing to share their contact information with you and all that details right by filling a form and the next one is messenger right so you're finding people willing to share their contact information and other details through chats like people that will chat to you on your facebook messenger right and then share their contact information with you right now the next one is also conversion so you want to get people to share their contact information with you like complete a registration form submit up an application or take another action on your website or app right and then the next one is actually calls. so you want to get people who may be interested in your business to call you right so this is another you know thing you can do with this lead campaign objective right and it can actually help you to make sales right if you are looking to make sales but you want to generate leads first of all for your business like you want to send a lot of people to your whatsapp right or you want to send people to your messenger you can actually use leads and send a lot of people there right now the next one is what app promotion now basically you want to find people who is going to you know be interested in your app and also who's going to install your app and continue using it right so that's when you use app promotion so it's basically for people that create apps right that develop apps are the ones that actually use it do you understand so if you have an app and you want people to install your app you want a lot of people to install your app you can decide to actually use this particular campaign objective so that when people click on your ad you can actually take them to where they will download it so if your app is actually in google play store or apple store right you can just send people there and then they will now download it and remember to you know install your facebook puzzle and then make sure you configure it very well so that when people will go there to download it you'll be able to track it right so it helps a lot for you know app install so you want to get people to install your app and then app events you want to get people to make an in-app purchase or take another action in your app right so that is basically what you use this app promotion campaign objective to do now the next one is sales this sales is similar to this let me show you is similar to this particular conversion ad right sales is similar to this conversion ad so you can basically use these sales for a lot of things you can use it for you know catalog sales conversion this is the main conversion ad right that can actually lead to sales that is this particular one you know messenger instagram and whatsapp right if you want to make sales this is the kind of campaign objective you should be using right so this is basically you know look at the old campaign objective you know the conversions the catalog sales stock traffic right this is where it belongs so this is now what facebook have now condensed into sales as the campaign objective so if you want to find people 
who are likely to purchase your products or services, then you need to use sales as your campaign objective. Now, are you now seeing the difference between these sales, right? And also these engagements. Look at it now. This engagement. Look at it. Get small messages, video views, post engagement, page likes, or event responses. Remember, it's not for you see that you can still send people to your Instagram DM or your WhatsApp DM, but remember it's not for sales. Are you seeing the difference between these engagement, you know, conversions, right? Just taking people to you know come over and then you know view your content and all that. But when you click on sales and you now check the conversions for sales, do you see it? Get people to add an item to their basket, make a purchase, start a subscription, or take another action on your website or app. So do you not see the difference between conversions, right? That is for sales, right? And also conversions for engagement. So don't try to miss it up. If you want for sales, if you want to optimize for sales, you want to make sales, or maybe you're selling e-commerce products and you want to make sales, your, your goal for your ad is to make sales. Use sales as your campaign objective, right? So you can see this conversion here is what to get people to add an item to their basket, make a purchase. Do you not see the difference? Now, the next one is actually catalog sales. So if you want to get people to buy products or services from your catalog, so maybe you created a catalog on your Facebook page and you have kind of different products, all right, to promote. So maybe somebody, you know, visited your website but didn't buy, kind of added to cart maybe one of your products and all that and you kind of have catalog for it. Maybe you linked it to even your Shopify store, right? You can decide to run this catalog sales ad, right? And then send people to your catalog so that they can now go through it and then select the one they want. Do you understand? Guys, this one now is if you don't have a website, a lot of people ask me, you need to can I run ads if you don't have a website? Like a lot of people feel that they need to have a website before they can run ads that will yield to sales, right? But you can see now that you can send people to your messenger or to your Instagram DM or to your WhatsApp. Even if you don't have words, even if you don't have a website, you can run ads that converts to sales, right? So instead of you sending them to your website, you now send them to either your Instagram DM or to your WhatsApp or to your messenger. Do you understand? But you have to still select sales as your campaign objective. If your goal is to make sales, right? Make sure you select sales as your campaign objective. Then you can now send them to your WhatsApp or to your Instagram or to your Messenger if you don't have a website. That way you can still run profitable ads that will lead to sales. Now the next one is what calls. So you want to basically get people who may be interested in your business to call you, right? So you want to book, you know, for consultation and all that. You can use this particular one and then select calls. And these people are really people that will really take action because you're optimizing for sales. You want sales. You want, you know, qualified leads, people that will really be interested in your business and also decide to buy from you later, even if you don't convert them immediately. Do you understand? So that is why using sales as your campaign objective is very, very important. If your goal is to make sales, do you understand? Another thing I want to say is, this, and this is a very, very important tip you need to understand. Now, if you're using leads, like I told you before, it can actually lead to sales, right? And if you're using sales as your campaign objective, it can actually lead to sales. But this is kind of cheaper. Yes, I've tried it from experience. When you're using this campaign objective, it's kind of cheaper and it will still make you to make sales, right? But if you're optimizing for sales directly, it's kind of a little bit higher, right? That is the cost per result, right? It's a little bit higher, but it's still for sales. So you have to just choose the one you want. And remember, with this campaign objective, you can still send people to your world to your messenger, right? If you're asking me now as a service-based business on which one should you be using, I will recommend you use leads so you can generate leads for your business, right? Now, if you're a business owner and you want to sell your product, like you want to make sales, your goal is to make sales, then I will recommend you use sales as your campaign objective. Even if you're selling e-commerce products, right? You can still use sales as your campaign objective. If you want to make sales, right? You want to run ads and make sales, and you don't have a website, see you sales as your campaign objective. Then you can now, at the ad set level, you can now decide to send people to your messenger or to your Instagram DM or to your WhatsApp DM. Right? So these are basically different campaign objectives you should be using and what you can actually use them for. Now, there are other factors that can actually help you to run profitable Facebook and Instagram ads. Right? Factors like, you know, having a good sales copy, a good ad creative, right? Targeting the right people and all that. So if you don't know how to target the right people, right? Or maybe you don't know how to run profitable Facebook ads. I would recommend you click on the video on the screen right now to watch this video on how to run profitable Facebook ads that converts to sales. And if you found this video useful, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Then enable your notifications so you don't miss out on any video I post on this channel. See you next time. Bye.